Welcome to Electron Line. Now, what are the combination transition states for water vapor and carbon dioxide in the atmosphere? After all, these two molecules provide the predominant greenhouse effect in the atmosphere, so we need to know, we need to figure out why that is so. It turns out when water vapor or carbon dioxide in the atmosphere receives energy either from the sun or from the, from the surface, they will absorb that but the way they absorb it is that not only can we have a change in the vibrational mode, for example, here we'd have the bending mode, there we have the symmetric vibrational mode, it can also at the same time change the rotational mode of the molecule. So it can do, it can change both of them at the same time. So by definition, when we talk about combination transition states, there are transition states where both the quantum vibrational state and the quantum rotational state of an atmospheric molecule changes at the same time. And remember, these are quantum changes. And therefore, we need to add the quantum energies together, both from the vibrational quantum state and the rotational quantum state. So here we're trying to illustrate that. For example, let's say that there's a change, there's an influx of energy, the energy is absorbed, the energy contains both enough energy to make a change in the vibrational mode, and so this, these are the changes in the vibrational mode, and a change in the rotational mode. So for example, it could jump from the third level in this state to the fourth level in this state, or it can jump from the third level to the second state in that level. And, and because of that, we can then add these two changes in the energy, these are quantum changes, and together they make the change in the energy of the molecule. Now one note we have to be careful of, that the rotational energy can only change by one quantum level. For example, we can go from 2 to 3, from 3 to 4, from 2 to 3, depending upon if it goes up or down, but it cannot change by more than one. So it couldn't jump from 4 to 2, from 4 to 1, 4 to 0, anything like that. It can only change one rotational energy state at the same time, but combined to the change in the, in the vibrational energy level, you can now see that there can be a lot of different combinations, especially since the energy level between the vibrational states are fixed. The delta energy, the change in the energy is always the same no matter which energy level we jump to, but that's not the case for the rotational energy levels. As we jump from 1 to 2 or from 2 to 3 or from 3 to 4, each difference is different depending upon where we started and where we ended. And because of that, there's a lot of different combinations of energies that can be absorbed to combine the change in energy of the vibrational mode and the change in the energy of the rotational mode. And because of that, the water molecule and the carbon dioxide molecule are now able to absorb many more different frequencies than if they all had to just absorb a one kind of change once at a time. We can see that when we combine the energy differences of the rotational modes and the, and the energy levels of the, of the vibrational modes combined, you can see there's a lot of different combinations we can, have, can, we can end up with. And so we're going to illustrate that on the next video so you can see what the distribution of frequencies looks like for particular vibrational modes. And that is the power of these two, these two molecules in how they can absorb energy either coming from the ground or coming from the sun. We'll show you how that works.